I've come to the rather wet north of Sweden to meet one of Europe's most exciting animals. It's its biggest wild cat and a cat with a reputation for having the twitchiest whiskers in the West, the Eurasian lynx. Now sadly these animals have a reputation for killing other farm animals so they've been severely persecuted and only 200 remain here in Sweden. Having said that, they're also rather shy. So we've come to Yarv Zoo, where Ulrika here, their keeper, is quite confident that these lynxes will come up and take some meat from us when we go in the cage. This enclosure has been specially designed to replicate the lynx's natural habitat, and it's a quarter of an acre of fabulous rocky forest. Just look at that. These animals are so shy, there would be absolutely no chance of getting this close to them in the wild, so this has to be a fabulous treat. Now, lynxes normally prey upon quite large animals, such as roe deer, although if things are tough, they'll also take rats, mice, and even hares. They're solitary hunters, and they normally hunt at night. They're descended from a larger African species. But these, the Eurasian lynx, are subtly different. You can see that they've got these very, very long legs, possibly an adaptation to help them running through deep snow. They've also got huge feet, and those act like snowshoes are going for running across that snow. One of the most striking things that hits you when you look at a lynx are these fabulous Spock-like ears. They're really, really very pointy. Nobody's explored exactly why they're like that. It could be that in this dense forest, their sense of smell and vision is not as important as their sense of hearing, which may be exceptionally acute. Another thing you'll note is if you look at their ears, they have these characteristic white spots on them. And that could be for communicating between the mother and her kittens. And the relationship between the mother and the kittens is particularly good. She has to stay with them for up to 11 months. And this could be because it takes such a long time to train them to hunt. Their method of hunting is quite difficult. Even when a mother lynx goes off to mate with another one, a process which could take 10 days, she provides for her kittens, perhaps killing a couple of roe deer and leaving them there as a larder for them to eat. Sadly, this has given the lynx a poor reputation for a wasteful killer. It's not the case, it's just good mothering. But what about those whiskers? They really are amazing. Apart from being very long, they're also very flexible, and the lynx can move them about on its face a lot more than other cats. Now, why is this? It could be that they've got very small tails. You see, cats' tails are very important for communication, and since they can't communicate with their tails, they use their whiskers instead. Now, here's a turn up for the books, because when we normally tell you about endangered species, it's always doomy and gloomy. Yet these lynxes are actually on the increase, and it's because there's been a lot of mild winters, and that means there's a lot more of their favourite food, the roe deer about. So for the lynxes in Sweden, at least, it's all good news.